Hi everyone, we continue our journey around the world. We leave Spain and on to Cameroon where we visit the CBI, the Congo Basin Institute, where we learn about how they actually are propagating ebony trees. This is fascinating how it all happens. A meristem is, the, is all the information that a plant needs. It's buried in the leaf joint okay. of the plant. And so what they're seeking here, like we saw in Guatemala, when they were doing the bud grafting or the, the flap grafting, is in the joint, right in at the base, there's a little bump. And that bump has a potential to grow into a branch or a leaf. And that material they will take out and, and sterilize and put into the lab. But the only part that they can use, similar to all uh, plant propagation, is the most juvenile material. It's the same challenge we have with Acer macrophyllum, the same challenge we have with, uh, with uh, Coa acacia. Mm -hmm. This is a small part. Inside, we have the meristem. Mm -hmm. So we are going to look for the meristem inside, and we are going to sterilize. When we will have this piece sterilized, we will start the process that we saw before. So, okay. so we are in the in the laboratory of uh, Chukutu, Mr. Giovanni. So this is the first step that we have when we want to develop ebony trees. So first step, why? Because from the merry stem of the plant, we are going to develop in these small tubes. When this is developed, we will cut in small, small pieces that we will put here inside. And you can see, you can see how the ebony trees are growing. First step, second step. This is the initiation, the start point. This is the multiplication. So from this, we are going to have the next step. From this, we will have the roofs. We are going to provocate the roof team. And this is the plant that are going to, we are going to acclimatize in the nursery. So this is the food of trees. This is how you get thousands, thousands, thousands of plants. Thousands. I'm holding in my hand the very first ebony plants that have come from the laboratory and into soil. And it's successful and they're growing. This is the first fruits of our labor, a year's worth of work. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Congratulations. Now our second method of making seedlings is to take cuttings off of live trees and propagate them in these non-mist propagators, which are very simple and allows us to do that right at the village level without using a laboratory. At this stage for us with COA, we will drop a couple of granules of fertilizer, NPK with micronutrients. Will you do something like that too? Yes, I will do. I will oh, use good. NPK 2010. 2010, 10, 10. no, that'll work. Hey, Bob Taylor here. I'm standing here in an ebony grove in Cameroon. We've left Yande, we're heading out to the forest, and we stopped at the school that the Ministry of Forests operates. Here they have a, a plantation of ebony trees. They're planted on six-foot centers just to watch and study, so we're here learning about that. But what we're looking at is ebony trees. These trees are 30 years old. Uh, we see variable growth rate, but they're healthy, they're doing good, and it gives us an idea of what we might be able to achieve over the next 30 years. It's a fantastic learning experience. There you go, a fascinating model on how we can build greater sustainability into the forest, and we are very encouraged about the progress we're making.